Okay, today I'm going to be making this, the Italian meatloaf. I already took a picture earlier of all the ingredients. Uh, to make the videos a little bit shorter, I'm just going to kind of streamline what you do. So basically what you got to do is you got to cut up the potatoes. I've already cut up the potatoes, put them in, uh, uh, cut them in like little one inch cubes. Um, I minced the shallots, the garlic, uh, it said finely chop up the uh, fresh um, parsley need to meet and then what you do is you take some bread it actually comes with a thing of bread uh, you mix it with some water and some chicken stock that they provided with it so now what we'll just do is just do a little bit of quick once all that's done so now it says what we're gonna have to do I'll tell you first is we're gonna go ahead um, we're gonna add the beef the shallots half of the rosemary half of the garlic and then a large pinch of salt and pepper and then it says mix, mix everything. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and just start right there, add the meat to the top. It said add a large pinch of salt, so we'll put enough salt on it so there's enough salt. It says a large thing of pepper. I like pepper, so you know you can go ahead. Like I said, that's just pepper to taste. We're gonna need about half of this, so We'll go ahead and put about half of that in there. Again, this is fresh rosemary that came. It said add the whole shallot. So we'll go ahead and add the whole shallot. And then it said it had about half of the garlic. So that's about half. Okay. Now that we've added everything else, a pinch of salt, we're gonna mix it. And then it says you make uh, two one inch loaves. So. Let's go ahead and mix all this now together. So you got the meat. The bread is to bind it. So you have some type of binding. And again, it says you mix it. And then what we're going to do is make two one inch loaves. Uh, with this also, we're going to have the potatoes. And you're also going to have... Um, on top of the uh, potatoes, you're also going to have some uh, roasted green beans. The roasted green beans doesn't take as long. The meatloaf, it says, is going to take about 20 minutes. And the, um, the green beans, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So you want to just go ahead and mix that. Okay, as you can see, it's all nice and bound. Again, this is beef, a little bit of bread and all the stuff that came with the packaging. So now let's just go ahead and we'll slide this back a little bit. Let's go ahead. It says what you gotta do is a it says lightly oiled uh, bacon sheet. So what we're gonna do is use some uh, olive oil and and kind of drizzle it. So what I'm going to do is just pour it like that. And then, because I'm going to go ahead and use the green beans and put the green beans also on it. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm pretty sure maybe that's not what it asked for, but let's go ahead and pull this all up. Because this is where the uh, meatloaf is going to go on. And now it says to make two one-inch thick meat loaves. So, take the meat. That's about one. Right there. And here's the second one. And it says one inch thick. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to kind of form them any way you want. So they're about one inch thick, as you can see. I'm thinking that's probably about an inch. Do the same with this one. Pat it down. Sorry for if I'm bumping the camera. I know if you're watching it, it might be annoying. So again, about one inch thickness. And there you have the two meatloafs. About an inch thick. 
So now all we basically got to do, the reason why I got the other oil right there is because that's where we're going to then drop the green beans, but the green beans only need about 15 minutes. Meatloafs are going to need about 20 to 25 minutes. So whenever they give a time, what I usually do is just kind of go in between. So if it's saying 20 to 25 minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and set the timer now for 25 minutes. We're going to go ahead and put these in. Uh, we're going to finish up the uh, green beans and then after that we'll be back. 